I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on vectors. We'll take a few applications to geometry in this particular series. The question here is, show that if the midpoints of adjacent sides of any quadrilateral are joined, then the resulting figure is a parallelogram. So let us uh, construct a, a quadrilateral. So we'll just construct a general quadrilateral, not a rectangle or a square, right? So let's just make a random one, right? So it doesn't look like any regular one. Now what we are going to do here is join the midpoints. So let's say these are the midpoints for our quadrilateral, right? So we'll just join them. We need to prove that they form a parallelogram. That is what we need to prove, right? So I hope the concept is clear. So this is the quadrilateral A, B, C, D given to us. And the midpoints means these are the points which we are talking about. Uh, let's say P, Q, R and S, right? So these are the midpoints. Okay. Okay, these are the midpoints. Now, we need to prove that PQRS is a parallelogram. Okay, so the easy way to prove is that we can begin from any one side. So let's talk about QR. So what is QR equals to? So QR is equal to QB plus BR, right? QB plus BR. So that is QR. Now QB could be written as half of AB. So QB is half of AB since we know Q is the midpoint and BR is half of BC, right? It is half of BC. Correct? Now, so, so it is half of, we could also write this as AB plus BC. Now AB plus BC is what? Well, let's join it. AB plus BC, we can join this. That is what it is, right? So it is half of A to C, right? So this is equal to half of AC. So we know what QR is. Now let us figure out what is PS, is it same as half of AC? That's what we need to prove, right? So let's begin with PS now. So P to S is P to D plus DS. Right? Now P to D is half of AD since D is the, P is the midpoint, right? Okay. And DS is half of DC. So we could again take half common. So we get AD plus DC. And AD plus DC is AC, right? So we get this as half of AC. So comparing equation 1, this is R1, which is we are writing QR is equal to half of AC. And now we got this PS, the opposite end, is half of AC. So both are same, right? So that shows that these are equal and they are parallel, correct? So they are opposite sides are parallel, correct? Now you could use the same strategy. So I like you to use the same strategy and then figure out what PQ is. So you can say the same thing. So PQ will be equal to P to A plus A to B half, right? I should write P to A first, right? Okay, so P to A plus A to Q which is half of AB, uh, half of DA, P to A, right? Half of DA plus half of AB, which is half of DA plus AB, which is half of, so this is half of the other diagonal, which is D to B. Correct. So we got PQ. Now let's see what SR is. So same strategy. S to R will be SC plus CR, 
which is half of DC plus half of CB that means it is half of DC and CD is half of BD right so you can write this as half of I should write DB right half of DB so again we have shown that they are also equal right so we got this uh, PQ equals to SR right so they are parallel and they are equal so that is how we can say that PQ RS is a parallelogram perfect so that is how you would actually prove it I hope it is straightforward and simple so from here we will take a few complicated uh, applications uh, of geometry I hope that will help feel free to write your comments and share your views if you have some questions feel free to post them thank you and all the best